we've been working on punch bag for quite some time now and uh, we wanted to be able to create large pieces of public art and to do that effectively involves a huge amount of manpower not to not to mention money um, and so we'd seen lots of examples of projection bombing and uh, really liked the idea because it's such a great way to create temporary public art that's really punchy that really happens in spaces that one wouldn't expect on this project a questioning uh, kind of response you know what, what, what's the what is a big quiet problem what are you doing why are you doing it um, and in fact people are often daunted when they see something very large in a building they don't really they, unless you make it really explicit and you're advertising something they don't really know what what it is you're doing so they're forced to ask you if they're interested um, I think it's quite good because obviously it caught our eye yeah I think it's like really good like it's quite like, interesting yeah it's different and it catches the eye I like it I like it I think it's good cause a big part of what we wanted to do was to make sure that that there was something to think about that it wasn't all very obvious what the project was about and, and that was important to the women on the project as well over the um, summer in the past few months um, there's been a small team of us going into refuges and safe houses and working with women who have escaped um, violent relationships. Um, we've been working with those women, doing paintings and um, writing poetry, and um, then thinking up ways to bring um, their words and work into the public domain so bringing what's usually kept behind closed doors um, yeah, out into public space. What's been really interesting about this is how we've taken something that is traditionally uh, quite an unappealing subject and something that people are quite afraid of talking about and made it um, into a piece of art that people are willing and happy to engage with. So where we've taken uh, poetry and turned it into text on the street, people are stopping and reading, whereas if you try to appeal them directly about domestic violence, they might turn away. A liar, a cheat, a denier, who still excuses the way he abuses. The bruise is the pain, what has he to gain? A crime of passion is what he is saying. Oh, well, so people are being, like, violent, have violence to them and that, and vote is. So if someone says, can you come to this museum to raise, raise, raise awareness, then how many of you lot are going to go in it? Unless right. you're asked by your school, If it was yeah. something like that thing on the wall yesterday... The then I'll go, go in. I'd if, if, if it's something like this, I'll do it. Doors, not so yeah, if there's just leaflets going around, isn't it? But if there's yeah. something on the street, isn't it, that you see... But I'm not trying to look at that, then, but then go somewhere, go somewhere yeah. and watch it. I was actually really quite taken aback at how much um, the women wanted to communicate about their situations. I think at first I thought it might take um, take quite a long time for people to want to speak about their their experiences, which are clearly very sensitive and personal. Um, but even right from you know the first few minutes of sitting down and starting painting, um, women were really talking a lot about what had happened to them and the situations they were in so I think there's a lot of frustration um, obviously repression and concern for other people who will be suffering who you know around the world I think any method used in the public is probably a good thing I didn't know what it was and it did make me think what makes good work um, is truth and these women spoke from a position of truth but um, I think what was really exciting was, was to see them really engaging and growing in confidence with their own writing and that was that was something that I hadn't really thought about how much their confidence would grow uh, by just being told that something they did was good and worthwhile and having that sort of um, recognition of what they've done that seemed very important and I hadn't really thought about that before we went in so that was a really wonderful learning process.
all the means that can be used uh, in reasonable ways to make the community aware of the challenges to others of its members, I think, has got to be good. Uh, any any uh, any type of uh, activities which is to uh, help this type of matter is it's all good. You know, uh, I think it's a very good example here of. Uh, how people, in actual fact, you get together and discuss about something, a matter so, so important as this, you know. I think it's a very good idea because it's a more informal way of getting the message across. Because obviously it is a very serious subject and it's a very serious issue. But people shy away from it and don't want to talk about it. It's a taboo subject. So obviously having informal things, it makes it more approachable and uh, it puts people at ease and they come and they are interested then by that informal way of um, taking things across. I think it's really effective and it can get like the community involved and it's quite a unique way of doing it as well so it definitely like, attracts att attention and stuff. With, with posters and things people kind of walk past with a closed vision, um, you're using different mo modalities um, voice and, uh, and movement uh, as well as visual and so it helps people to uh, to notice, understand, be aware much more I think than just uh, writing it down. I wouldn't have noticed that until I stood actually on it but when I started reading it I realised it's like guerrilla advertising. Yeah, but it's really effective I think. I think it's awesome. Okay so this was made with girls in an outreach group um, we started off talking about domestic violence and what it meant to them sharing experiences and then they thought up key phrases and sentences that they'd like to share sort of with the world and sat um, as a group and, and captured some of their sentences on, on this ribbon. So White Ribbon Day is um, the International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women and Girls and here in Southampton we use it to kind of raise awareness of the issue of domestic violence and let people know who are experiencing domestic violence that there are organisations out there, many in Southampton, that can help. I like public art because it gets to other bits of people's senses rather than knowledge or writing. You know, you'll get a different group of people prepared to engage with an art subject and they'll think about it for longer, I think. It's colour, it's entertainment, it's, it's atmosphere as well, I think, that draw, perhaps draws people in. Everything went blurry, all the sounds muffled. All I could see was the dusty, faded, pink lamp cover swaying gently, left to right. Everything felt like it had been put on pause. I felt like my body was slowly collapsing inside of me, like an avalanche, wiping away all the foolish hopes and dreams. And then suddenly, a spark. My son. I have him. I have to snap out of this. I have my son. That is my family. As this dawned on me, an anger burned in my chest. Then finally, I heard the bang of me being thrown against the table. Um, I think it's very effective. We could see it walking all the way up the high street. It looks absolutely fantastic, and I think it'll make people stop and ask themselves some questions about what it's what it's there for. It's really, really good. I like it, and I liked it before when they did the purple one last time. I think it's really good. I was looking at it and saying, why has it got punch bag written up there? And wondering about that, but then it made me read the sides. And no, I think it's brilliant to use the bar gate for it. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Let's have more of it. <laughs> yeah, it's been a really good vibe. Um, great to see the found art around the town centre. You've got um, sort of different groups from loads of students out tonight, so a real mix of young people to then you've got um, from feminist groups, so a real good mix. It makes us sort of realise it's sort of part of the community rather than just sort of a, a council issue or um, sort of it shows how widespread it is and the support really. So great to get out there, great atmosphere, so really happy. It's amazing to see tonight 
all of it come together. Um, Lee's work, the words for the women, the projections, um, Martin's stickers, everything come together and actually form a really coherent, powerful piece of work. And that's just been incredible. I think the projections have just sort of topped it off because they're just so big you can't miss them. Mm. And I think the biggest uh, sort of... Um, litmus test is the fact that Southampton Council want to use the work and interested in developing what we've done and finding ways to spread it across the city and, and continue it as an ongoing uh, campaign which is, which is brilliant, which you couldn't ask for more really.